If you guys might have seen this one uh, quite a few weeks ago, it's a 3D printable lighter prototype. Ah, it was a complete meltdown. Now, after that I wanted to improve it. Or make sure it lasted longer to make the design a bit more logical, more lighter-like. Maybe add a ignition source and it is what I did with the second version. The ignition source is a basic piezoelectric one and while it works in warm weather and when there's no wind, unfortunately it doesn't work properly while outdoors as the temperatures outside over here are a bit on the really cold side. It lasted around 3 minutes total before the fuel ran out. Now I had to relight it multiple times because it was quite windy and it and it doesn't have a wind guard so it blew out multiple times. Now the damage to the lighter is very limited, like the top de deformation is only like half a millimeter and the discoloration is not nearly as severe as in, uh, the previous one. Now for future designs I kind of want to make it a more reliable ignition but for the rest it's completely functional, like all you, all you need more is a top part to cover it when you don't use it so you can take it along. The flame is around the size I wanted it to, to be so the hole doesn't have to be changed and the burn time of around 3 minutes is adequate. Now I've looked online for other designs of 3D printable lighters but I couldn't find any so this might be one of the first working 3D printable lighters. Well, not as good as a big lighter or a zipper but it's getting close. In the third version it might be practical. Now the only disadvantage of this type is that it wouldn't last forever, like the deformation would get too severe after around 10 to 15 refills and the lighter fluid would fall out if it doesn't have a, a plug for the hole with the match in it, but once that's implemented it could just be used, like any other lighter. So I'm hoping to improve it even further and if you guys want this model just put it in the comments and if you like this video please like and subscribe now I'll show you the tests with the lighter now the, the video shown here isn't the only tests I had multiple lights there there was some time in between so that might have changed the test results but the total burning time is around three minutes with barely any more damage than after the first 30 seconds the reason why I'm using a zipper to light it is because it's really cold over here and it's quite windy. So the PS electric lighting system doesn't work at the moment. Though during summer, spring or even autumn it would work properly. The fuel I'm using is just regular zip zipper fluids. Though it would work with most burning fluids. You might even use gasoline or methanol. Wouldn't recommend using it inside though. The model just isn't as safe as a proper factory made one. The trick why it doesn't just burn up is the same one as the previous model actually. I just added a water reservoir to the top of it and it's a bit bigger than the previous one. With the walls between the water and the plastic a bit thinner. While PET would soften at temperatures like boiling water, it doesn't completely melt so it's kind of safe as long as there isn't any force applied to it. The bubbles you're seeing right now is actually steam es escaping. There are some holes at the top of it for the pressure to relieve. Now I'm planning on doing more stuff like that in the future, like weird but fun stuff. So if you like it, just please like and subscribe.